Joe Macy is momentarily the most crowd-pleasing heavyweight on the planet. Armed with a thundering right hand, a disarming smile, and a charismatic personality. But behind the story of Macy's rise in the heavyweight ranks, there lies a tale of family tragedy and personal loss, as well as inspiration and bonding between a father and a son. I believe that everything happens for a reason. You have to learn from everything, and you have to get uh, stronger from every event, uh, whether they're losses or gains. Macy grew up in a small suburb outside Buffalo, New York. Though his grandfather, uncle, and brother were all boxers, Macy didn't step into a boxing gym until the relatively late age of 21. I never, ever imagined myself being a boxer. You know, when I originally went to the gym, it wasn't in the intention to become a world champion, to be turned professional. I went there purely for the love of the sport, to maybe see what my grandfather and my uncle had experienced, and uh, maybe at that time, most importantly, to kind of maybe lose some weight and get into shape. Joe lost almost 60 pounds and realized he had a knack for fighting. But his parents, Jack and Barbara Macy, had never envisioned Joe as a boxer. And at first, Barbara tried to head off her son's passion for the sport. She was never really thrilled about me boxing, me fighting, always worried about me getting hurt. But she was my biggest supporter at the same time. Well, my wife is, uh, was uh, more of the academic. And her wish for Joe was to become a lawyer. She used to always tell me, oh, quit that boxing, go to law school, I want you to be a lawyer. But Joe kept boxing, calling on a fighting spirit he must have inherited from his mother, who fought her own ongoing battle with lupus, an autoimmune disease that prompts the immune system to attack the body. She fought for 15 or 20 years with lupus disease, and she was as tough as they come, and I draw inspiration from that. After the fights, because of her illness, she would literally be in bed for two and three days recovering from the stress of the fight. I think maybe when she knew she wasn't going to be around much longer, she told me, be careful not to get hurt. I assured her that nothing bad was going to happen to me in the ring. Don't worry about me because I'm going to be safe and I'm in good hands. In November of 2000, Jack and Joe watched as Barbara finally lost her fight with Lucas. Their father-son relationship since then has deepened. When you're one less parent, you you know, it's one less person to rely on, and I drew closer to him. We've always been close, but that's the, the one uh, parent figure I have left, and uh, we are as close as can be. Today, Jack manages Joe's career with the fervor only a father can supply, as he looks to catapult Joe into the upper echelon of the heavyweight division. I'm sometimes criticized for being controlling, but uh, my whole purpose in doing this is to protect Joe and get him to the title. He is the reason that uh, I think I'm the biggest ticket seller in the sport that does not hold a world title. Uh, he's a marketing genius. Known as Buffalo's third franchise to go along with the Bills and the Sabres, Macy admits the giant crowds that come to his fights surprise him. It's crazy, and I never thought it would get like this. I'm an athlete that was born here, raised here, educated here plan on becoming heavyweight champion of the world and continuing to live here, and I think they appreciate that. As Joe's boxing skills sell out arenas, and Jack tries to steer him into a title shot, both men agree there's something much bigger in their lives. It's just father-son, father-son, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, it never is a business to us. Someday when <clears throat> I'm an old man rocking in a rocking chair, <laughs> I hope he'll get me my orange juice. <laughs> And uh, that's where we're going. It's way beyond boxing. We're going into way beyond boxing. We tell each other everything. We do everything together. We're inseparable. He's, uh, again, an inspiration and uh, a big part of where we are.